welcome to the hair I wear for wigs by pattyspearls.com. I am reviewing a wig that I haven't worn this style before and I put it on and let me tell you, I felt like a Spice Girl. Like this wig is so chic and just out of the ordinary and without further ado, here she is. This is Cafe Chic. This is another Bell Trust piece, their cafe collection, and she's short. Like, I typically do not wear short styles, but I put this on and I was thinking, I think I need to change up my look. Like, I really love this short style. So, what makes her so unique is her very blunt cut. It's like someone went in with a razor and just ch -ch 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 right along the bottom. She's very blunt and it's really edgy looking and just really cool. You're going to have to just wait and see. Okay, let's talk about the cap construction on this one. This is a left side monofilament part. I actually tried to part her down the middle just to see what it would look like because it is so blunt. I thought it'd be a really cool like front part look, um, but it felt really bulky. You could feel the wefting, so definitely stick to the left side um, part with her. She has the open wefting cap, which gives her a stretchy feel. Overall, this is about a whoops, where's my sheet? This is a 10 inch length. So definitely below the chin. Um, the front is layered a little bit. So you have some shorter pieces that fall at about eight inches. And then from the nape down, it's only three and a half inches. So definitely the shortest style I reviewed so far. Okay, let's talk about the color again. This is part of the cafe collection. This is cappuccino with cherry. And I believe it was Sugar Rush I did in this color. And like I said with Sugar Rush, I feel like the color is a little misleading. I expect to see some like cherry red highlights running through this, but I mean, overall, when you see it, it just looks like a really dark brown. Now, there are some highlights in here, but they're more of a, um, I would call them like a, an auburn or a dark, dark honey blonde, just to give it a smidgy bit of dimension. And it's so funny, there's actually a gray hair in here. Um, I put it on, I was like, what? Oh my gosh, it's a gray hair. I don't know if you can see that. You can definitely see it against the black, but just pluck that sucker right out. Okay, so um, definitely just more of a overall dark brown look, not a ton of dimension or highlights in this piece. Okay, I'm gonna go put her on for you so you can see the very chic look. Uh, be screenshot ready because here are all the details on Cafe Chic. Okay, here she is. This is Cafe Chic. And holy smoke, y'all, she is cute. She is cute. Now, this color is really dark on me. I think I would um, like this more and a little bit lighter of a color. But I want y'all to just see the blunt razored ends of this wig. Like, it's just so, it's got like this rock and roll vibe almost. Um, it's a little bit stacked in the back and then just kind of tapers. It's not a true angled bob, but it's not one length all the way across. It has um, some shorter pieces here and I feel like it just kind of falls very effortlessly to the front. Now, this is heat friendly and the fiber feels amazing. It's so soft. I feel like this wig would wear for a really long time, um, simply because it is short, but because it's heat friendly, any kind of frizz that you get, you can just knock it out. Wouldn't go crazy with the heat styling, but um, you know, there's not gonna be any tangling on these blunt ends. So I think she would wear really well for a long time. Um, she just feels so, so good. I don't think I would de-shine her out of the box um, with this dark color. You wouldn't want any kind of like residue. And she just looks like healthy hair. I don't think she's overly shiny. Um, the ear tabs on this are fitting again, like with Sumatra, they come down really low. So I'm having a hard time doing a really comfortable ear tuck um, with her, but I can definitely get her behind my ear. 
um, like that. I would want to go in and train the knots to go back a little bit because out of the box she is just falling down into my face. But because the knotting, um, I mean not the knotting, sorry, the fibers are so silky, it just just wants to come straight down. So I do have her parted on the left. That's where her monofilament base is. And let me get um, up close here. You can see this is a smart lace front, so you have some lace to work with. Um, the rooting or the knotting is pretty dark, um, so you're going to see a heavy knot. But again, you just pluck a few and then add some concealer, and I think you can um, get a pretty good defined part with her. Now, let's see. Let me give you a back and a side view. All right, so here she is in the side, all the way to the back, and then this side. Now she's definitely short enough, you're not gonna be able to pull her back into a ponytail or anything like that. You could clip her um, to the side like this, but I think that just takes away from what this style is supposed to be. It's supposed to fall forward, it's supposed to be this edgy kind of razored bob. So I would only, I would just leave her down and just let the style just be what it is. It's so, so cute. Um, you're not going to be able to get a lot of volume on this. The fibers are pretty silky, so it's not going to be voluminous. There's no permatease in it. Um, it's just a very sleek and straight look. Okay, so I think that is all for Cafe Chic. She is so fun. Like I said, I feel like a Spice Girl. Was it Victoria Beckham who had her hair like this? I just, I think it's so, so fun, y'all. Okay, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com and check her out. The brand is Belle Tress. The style is Cafe Chic, and this color is Cappuccino with Cherry. Okay, that is the hair I am wearing today. I will see you guys next time.